Assistant. Dun, 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 dun. My assistant. Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone and I have Trix with us today. She is five months old. If you've been following along with any of her previous videos, because you subscribe to our channel, you've probably seen that we already worked on some collar conditioning and the collar conditioning we did with her already has been to a dog bed, so collar conditioning to kennel. It has made our lives so much easier having her well behaved, able to stay on a place in the house. And we've worked on that solidly over the last few weeks and she is doing an exceptional job. So now we are going to start collar conditioning her to recall. She's gotten a lot more ex explorative, shall we say, going outside even to the point where um, I'm way too pregnant to be chasing after her, going and getting her, picking her up and carrying her back to the house. So we're like, it is time, little girl, to be collar conditioned to recall so that you can consistently come back when I call. Today I'm gonna be using DT Systems MR1100 e-collar. I'm gonna get that on her here. I love this little e-collar because it's so simple to use. It's great for starting young puppies. It's got Vibrate, which I'm going to be utilizing primarily today. I wanna to make sure that that collar fits up around the smallest part of her neck like this. And then I can actually slip this back through itself. Um, I don't wanna clip this collar strap at all because my antenna runs through the entire part of the collar and that's what's gonna give me my range. Yeah. We are setting this up in the backyard. It's fenced in, so it's not like she can run off anywhere. As well as I've got her attached to one of our check cords. All of these things can be found on our website, standingstonesupply.com. Any of the things that we're using and recommending can be found there. Excuse me, because I've got a little bit of a cold, so I'm gonna try and not talk quite so much um, and do a little more explaining as we get going. Do I need my treats? Assistant, dun, 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 dun. my assistant. She's like, oh yeah, I want some treats. I'm gonna just take a handful assistant and then I'm gonna give these back to so that the bag's dun, not dun, a dun, distraction. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. Absolutely. So I've got a few of these beef training bites. They're super good smelling. Come here, Trix. You want one? Here's a freebie for doing nothing but being cute. There you go. So I've got my treats. I'm gonna put those in a pocket. That's one thing, maternity pants are not great about pockets. So I got a back pocket and that's about it. So to start this process, I'm just gonna get Trix to go away from me a little ways, let her get distracted. And then, like I said, I'm gonna have her hook to a check cord. So she tries to avoid, um, I have attached to her so she can't run off to another part of the backyard um, and I can keep her feet moving and redirect her. This will not be the first time she's had a collar on her though, because we already did collar conditioning to stay on a dog bed. So it's not completely new to her, new or foreign, the feeling of the collar. Um, and it allow us to show you how she responds when I hit vibrate this time. So as soon as she gets away from me a little bit. Tricks, tricks, here. Good girl, all the way in. So she responded really well. She kind of felt that collar, looked around, and then I gave her the um, cue here and she came all the way up to me. That's a good girl. She goes, I'm working on this chew treat. As Soon as she finishes that bite, I'm gonna go ahead and do another recall here. When I'm using the collar with Vibrate, I'm gonna put my hand in the air. Tricks here. Good girl, good girl. There you go. So she's responding really nicely to that vibrate. As soon as she gets all the way to me, the vibrate's shutting off. This check cord, because we've already done so much groundwork um, with her recalling in controlled situations like the backyard for just treats and things like that, <clears throat> she's actually responding really well, um, as well as she's had collar conditioning, just not to recall yet. So she's understanding the concept of, I turn the collar off by complying with the cue that I already know. So I'm gonna just let her kind of wander off from me a little bit again. Which she's super cooperative, which is one of the reasons that we haven't really had to do collar conditioning to recall 
until this point. A lot of times we start this process with a puppy um, at a younger age because they're a little more independent. You're stepping on your check cord. And we actually haven't had to do that with her up until this point. So this is a great opportunity for me to show you um, how if you've got a dog that's a little sticky, a little clingy, really cooperative, which is a good thing, how we can work with a partner, my assistant again, Ethan's gonna come out here. Um, so we can work with a partner to call her back and forth between us. Here, I'm gonna give Ethan just a couple of my treats. hey -o. <clears throat> And then we're gonna call her back and forth. I am the only one with the transmitter, so I'm gonna run the transmitter for Ethan when he gives the cue to call her to him. And then I'm gonna run it when I'm calling her to me. One thing is she sometimes will try, dogs will sometimes try and <clears throat> anticipate. Oh, I go to dad, then oh, I go to mom, and they're just going back and forth. And we wanna make sure that she truly is responding to the cue and who is calling her. So if she starts getting into that routine of anticipating, we'll show you how we work through that, so. <laughs> Lazy bones. Tricks. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 good girl. Here. Go ahead. Uh, she says, Dad's only giving me half treats. Oh heck, I'm giving quarter treats here. <laughs> Mom's giving me the full full treat all at once. Who's a good girl? Who's a spoiled girl? Who's mommy's girl? That girl. So as soon as she's done eating that, I'm gonna go ahead and cue her over to me. Trix, here. Good girl. What a good girl. Good girl. So she's responding really, really well. This is great. This is what we like to see. But I think it's important to talk about the fact that, and you mentioned this, but the reason that she's responding so well to this is that she has a true understanding of collar conditioning through already teaching that with the other behavior. And then she also has a true understanding of recall between us because we put the groundwork in for that. So, <laughs> tricks. Hey, 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 hey. Tricks, come on, babe. Good girl. Tricks here. Good. There's a couple different things that we're essentially doing um, just by take it, you goon. There, eat it. She's, She's like just so nibbling around it. Just being nibbling right around it. Yeah. Okay, here it, must it is. Be afternoon nap time, huh? Right? Sweetie? This is it. This is the anticipation. She's coming to me. She's going back to mom. She's coming back to me. Now, she left me, mom didn't call her, she just went that direction. And this is where you can really start to show her, you need to listen to who's calling, who's talking to you, and then listen to what they're asking you to do. This is all differentiation between the cues that we're, that we're teaching. Hey, tricks, tricks, tricks. Hey, 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 hey. Good. Here. Good girl. So I wanna point something out really quick that, um, a lot of people might be seeing in the video, but we haven't said anything. So as soon as Ethan starts calling her, the caller is already turned on. She kind of looked around a little bit over here, like, whoa, whoa, because not that the caller startled her, but just, oh, I felt it. I didn't let go of the caller. I didn't shut it off. She just was able to get her focus pulled to Ethan by him continuing to call her name. <whistles> pop, 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 get her attention. And then she started moving that way. I also didn't shut the collar off when she started moving that way either. I held the button until she got all the way to Ethan because she needs to learn shutting the collar off is by complying with the cue. And the cue isn't getting halfway to him. The cue isn't getting past him on a drive-by. The cue isn't getting halfway there and turning around and coming back to me. It's completing the recall to the person that's asked for it. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi. Good, here. Nice job. There you go, babe. There. Also, if you notice, he's giving that cue here as she's almost to him because in the beginning, he's getting her attention and she's not really even listening to him. So if he said, you know, here, she isn't even paying attention to that cue and that cue is, becomes meaningless. We don't want to overuse the cue. But once we've got her full attention, we can give her the cue. Then she can comply with the cue that we're asking for. So, tricks here. Good girl. Good puppy. You want another treat from mom? Yes, my sweet, sweet. 
Let's see if we can get a few good reps. Um, and maybe to build we can a even take momentum. a few steps back. Yep, and oh. build this distance. <whistles> Tricks. Here. Good. I would say one of the number one that, uh, problems or mistakes that people make, would you just take the dang treat in your mouth, open, there. <sighs> one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they just stand still. A little bit of movement goes a long way. She starts coming to me. <whistles> Tricks, hey, 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 good. This was calling her away while she was actively moving the other direction. And that's good. a really good way to, Open. Check and see if your collar conditioning is working because she was coming this way. <whistles> Tricks here. Good girl. And we were actually able to turn her around with the e-collar and the cue back to Good. Ethan. Here, have one more. Love me. Love me. Another one. Just She's just trying to just nibble, just nibble it out of your hand with the little. She's being so gentle and sweet. That's yes, a good girl. Yes, she is girl. being sweet. But the, I was saying one of the biggest mistakes people just stand still. That little bit of backward movement or side movement or bending over helps her to differentiate between who's calling her, where she's supposed to go. All of these things are more inviting positions or inviting um, mannerisms, behavior for the dog himself. So tricks. Here. Good girl. Good. Good girl. Tricks. Here. There we go, a little hop and then step. Hey, 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 hey. Here. Good. She stepped on her check cord, which essentially. Yeah, right. so uh, you can explain that, yeah. What yeah, she stepped on there. her check cord, which kind of made her feel like she was getting a correction. So she started to turn around. And then again, I pulled focus. Hey, 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 hey. Tricks here, good. As well as the collar didn't shut off. Yeah, she held the collar down the whole time. Tricks here. Good dog. Good dog. Good puppy. Good puppy. <whistles> Tricks. Hi, hi. Tricks here. It's all about keeping focus, guys. The biggest reason that we move to collar conditioning is because distractions become more important than the behavior that we're asking. And the collar helps pull the dog's focus back to who's asking something of them. Once you have their focus, we've already proven, they've already proven, they know what you're asking and can respond to that in low distraction situations. So think about the collar as a way to communicate to your dog to pull their mind away from a distraction. Good. Tricks. Here. And as your puppy gets older and bolder and more confident and more exploratory, having this solid recall with collar conditioning is going to be really important. Not only so that they're not running off willy nilly, but for their safety so that you can get their attention in those high distracting situations when timing is very important and you need to. Let's do a couple more reps and then call it good for <laughs> tricks. Here, good girl, good. Tricks, here. Good puppy. All right guys, finishing this up, I think there's a couple important things to say. These are questions that come up. These are, I think, um, misunderstandings that people have. This session does not mean she is now magically color conditioned to recall. We have started the conditioning process and like any conditioning process, it takes time. It's going to take two or three or four or five sessions till we can expect in a reasonable level of distraction that she will respond to vibrate. But then we will end up switching to conditioning with stimulation and showing her as the level of distraction increases, the level of distraction redirector or focus redirector has to match that. So we'll use the lowest levels, but those levels are gonna change. We'll probably end up doing um, maybe upwards of a half a dozen more sessions with her just like this, increasing those distances to where we can call her all the way across the backyard here, but still staying in a combined environment. Once we feel confident with that, we'll start incorporating into higher distractions and then eventually we'll need to move on to 
the use of stimulation. Yeah. Got anything else to add? One last thing that I think comes up a lot or we get asked a lot on Patreon, you know, they're, they're starting this collar conditioning process based off of the target here that we do with clicker training to begin with. Absolutely. And that um, puppy in the beginning, they are maybe unsure of what the collar truly means and they're a little startled by it. So they start moving towards you because you're getting their attention, but they may not come in and touch your hand perfectly. It's important in those beginning stages for them to understand that right now, all I want is for you to get all the way to me and that's what shuts the collar off. So if I'm getting a puppy to come to me, like this, tricks, tricks here. As soon as I get my hand on her, reach out, touch her, that vibrate shuts off. Yeah, don't wait for don't them to mill like, around Oh, but you're there. not touching yeah. my hand, so I'm gonna still hit that vibrate until she touches it. You She's gonna that. add some confusion. That yep. could add confusion to the situation. So that was one last little tidbit I wanted to throw in there. She's like, I'm ready for an afternoon nap. Yeah, I think that's all we've got for today, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. And I'm Kat, the dog trainer. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.